Now to the Middle East, where Israel launched another series of missile strikes Friday against Iran-backed militant group Hezbollah in Lebanon. In response to the growing crisis there, Secretary of State Antony Blinken announced the United States will provide nearly $157 million in humanitarian assistance. Also, on Friday, Iran's Supreme Leader delivered remarks in Tehran, where he addressed the missile attack on Israel. CBS News foreign correspondent Imtiaz Tayeb is in Beirut. Imtiaz, what more did he have to say? Well, Iran's Supreme Leader, the Ayatollah Khamenei, uh, gave uh, essentially a rousing speech in front of this massive crowd uh, in Tehran, where he led Friday prayers there for the first time in nearly five years. And at one point uh, in his hand, you can see that he was holding the barrel uh, of some sort of gun, some sort of weapon. And as he was speaking, he basically said uh, to Israel that uh, we have struck you once and we will strike you again. Now, this, of course, follows uh, Iran's massive ballistic missile attack that targeted Israel on Tuesday. Uh, Israel and the U.S. successfully managed to thwart that attack. Uh, but it really just underscores the tension that we've been seeing across the region, especially since Israel has really ramped up its violence across Lebanon, including here in the capital, Beirut, uh, where massive explosions has targeted the southern suburbs. Now, all of this has triggered a major humanitarian crisis uh, and has also seen a number of Americans desperate to get out of the country. Now, we met a man by the name of Shania Jodhri. Uh, he is an NYU grad student and a Marine Corps vet, and he has been trying to get in touch with the U.S. Embassy, but really has not been able to. Now, Jodhri says he still has no idea how he will get home, as Israeli strikes across Lebanon only intensify. So far, over 2,000 people have been killed in the attacks, a figure the U.N. is calling totally unacceptable. Lana. MTS Tayyab in Beirut, thank you.